buying this crossover on the secondary market is as pointless as building a summer house out of gold. Prestigious, extremely impractical and can be stolen at any moment. In addition, malfunctions for the second generation Cayenne 958 are not uncommon. But in our case they are much more expensive. They buy such cars only with their hearts, since there are practically no reasonable arguments for a used Cayenne. With this beauty in the garage, you will never know how you can save on parts, maintenance, and taxes. According to the experience of the owners, a crossover with a 4.8-liter gasoline V8, given the routine maintenance, fuel and maintenance costs, will require a budget of up to 100,000 rubles a month. Are you sure that a VIP taxi will cost more? But the only thing you are sure to become proficient in is choosing and connecting various security systems. Start cutting professionally, we guarantee. In addition, learn how to persuade insurers to still insure your car. And yet the second generation turned out to be noticeably more reliable than the first. This applies not only to improved engines, transmission and electronics, but also to the air suspension. About everything, however, in order. When buying a car on the secondary market, only a madman will chase the top versions of the S and Turbo S. Such cars are not bought for trips to a children's party which means that the engine with the gearbox will probably be worn out. Specialists will be able to verify this through endoscopy of the cylinders. We do not recommend neglecting this. Gasoline V8s still have not got rid of their main misfortune, badass. So it makes sense to buy a used Cayenne with a V8 already sleeved. Well, or set aside 300 to 350,000 rubles in advance for future cylinder repairs. And that it will take place, do not even doubt it. This is as true as the fact that your headlights will sooner or later be stolen. Some, and often even a hefty, margin of safety in the crossover, however, is available. If you service engines and automatic machines in time, Eisen for diesels and Tiptronic for gasoline versions, monitor the oil every thousand kilometers, although it's not customary with us, keep an eye on the fastening of the phase shifter bolts, which strive after 70,000 kilometers to crumble into the engine crankcase, avoid cold starts at temperatures below 20 degrees below zero, then everything can and will cost a little blood. The car is capable of walking several hundred thousand kilometers without major repairs, although it is not very clear what is considered serious. Replacing a bent disc with a torn tire with installation work will cost 130,000 rubles. But, again, efficiency is not about the Cayenne. In the city, even with unhurried movement, you will easily drink 25 liters of 98th gasoline per 100 kilometers. And in this sense, the 3.6 liter V6 will definitely be the best choice on the secondary market, and the 3.0 liter diesel is better, falling under the 250 horsepower tax amnesty bar. Volumetric Vygovsky diesel engines, by the way, do a good job with our wretched solarium and are quite reliable. In addition, there are more than enough of them on the market. There is practically nothing to talk about the body, with the exception of the only and most important detail, no head optics mount. A used headlight costs from 50 to 100,000 rubles, and it will be stolen with a probability of 90%, according to statistics. By the way, will locks in our case are not reinsurance. To be on bricks in the morning and with the prospect of shelling out half a million rubles for wheels is still a pleasure. The paintwork, as well as the corrosion resistance, is exemplary. Yet we are dealing with Porsche. For the same reason, there is no reason for skepticism in the cabin. An unprepared person will be disappointed with a small resource of brakes. The pads will have to be changed more often, the more powerful the engine. A resource of 15,000 kilometers for pads on a car with a V8 is normal. And with pads, once every 30,000 kilometers, you will have to change the discs. Replacing the brakes in a circle will cost 150,000, no less and the rest of the prices will not seem a little. So if you are impatient to sit on an off-road Porsche, the best way out of the situation is to entrust the selection of a serviceable and not promising car repair without a criminal record to a specialized company. An independent trip to the seller, except to look and find out if the seller is a dealer, will not give you anything. And in terms of modifications, we advise you to be more modest, paying attention to diesels or a gasoline B6. Suspension Body position sensors stick in the air suspension. The cost of a new compressor is about 60,000 rubles. You will have to pay more than 100,000 rubles for the steering rack. Stabilizer bushings run 30,000 kilometers, rack stabilizers a little more. 
solid blocks of levers and ball bearings will work out up to 100,000 kilometers. Transmission. The most common problem is a defective transfer case. It is not difficult to determine the illness of the handout. It is evidenced by jerky acceleration or just jerks in the absence of gear shifting. The problem manifests itself in 3 to 4 gears and a low speed of 30 to 50 km h The solution to the problem is only a replacement assembly. Engine. The most reliable engine mechanics call 3.8 V6. They also recommend staying away from the hybrid version. For 4.8 V8 engines, it happens that the pipes of the cooling system burst, and the antifreeze can go completely. The cause of the leak can also be a bursting expansion tank. The cost of a nozzle for a TDI diesel engine is 18,000 rubles. Body. The main claims to the body are the cost of its parts when recovering from accidents. Hood, 36,000. Front fender, 12,000. Fifth door under the Russian number, 25,000. Shock absorbers of the fifth door often fail from moisture and condensate. It seems to be a trifle, but replacing them with new ones will require 30,000 rubles. Electrician. The transmission sins with electronic errors. In the air suspension, the contacts and mechanism of the lever position sensors are vulnerable. Sometimes power windows work spontaneously. It happens that the key fob is buggy, but more often the keyless access system fails. There are problems with the incorrect operation of various control units.